What's good, YouTube? It's your boy JB, Mr. Major Man, Mr. 504, here to welcome y'all back to the showroom. Today, today I'm doing my top 10 cops of 2016, but I'm doing my this top 10 is not joy related. These were just general must haves that I needed to have in my own personal collection that is not Jordan, uh, Jordan Retro, so to say. There are not no Jordan Retros in this video, but. These were shoes that I definitely needed to have in the collection because they were dope. In my opinion, might not be to you. Some you may like, some you may not like, but I'm just going to go into it. And in no particular order, I'm about, just about to start it. And shoe at number 10 is, bam, the Nike Field General 2 in the championship drive, gold, white and gold colorway. This shoe is dope in my opinion. Uh... For two reasons. One, I'm from New Orleans. I need a white, white, anything with gold in it is a plus down here. And not only that, you don't see too many people rocking this. And I just had to have this particular shoe. And it is comfortable as hell. This is a football trainer shoe. But the way it was built and crafted, like you, they got all kind of little nice designs and things going throughout this shoe. Uh, now the main thing about the shoe is like this sat on Nike for a nice, a nice little while, and it took me a long time to pull the trigger to really get this shoe. But when I got a fire price on it, I had bam, snatched it up right then, uh, and I worked every penny, man. Once I slipped them on, and I do recommend going true to size on these shoes. Slipped them on, fit like a glove, uh, and also you can feel every bit of this full length zoom unit on there. Definitely, definitely was a great shoe. Uh, translucent bottom on there. Can't go wrong with a white and gold colorway. A lot of people don't like wearing white, but now, like I said, that's not a problem with me. I love, I love rocking whites, whites, golds, tans, like colors like that. Like definitely was a must have and built and built very, very sturdy for the most part. But yeah, definitely at my number ten, the Nike Air uh, Field General Two at number ten. Number nine, we had to go to, bam, the Nike Lupinic ACG uh, boot. Now, this boot right here, like I said, this boot, you can either love it or hate it. This boot definitely is a game, a nice game changer. And like I said, but people probably would turn off to, a pro to the price. This is actually a Nike Lab uh, exclusive, as you can see has this broken diamond pattern going across right here on the sides, the medial, uh, the front toe cap and the medial side. But definitely, definitely was a nice shoe. Like I said, and it was a good boot. Like this boot is every bit of all terrain. Like I've worn this in freezing rain, rain, storms, uh, you name it, I've worn it. In. And like this shoe held up together with flying colors, man. Like, and I've worn this shoe a good bit. And the leather on it is so plush and soft. Like you see me break it in like that. Like there's some excellent quality leather that they put on here. Like Nike went all out on this particular boot right here. But definitely was worth having in the collection. They made out of that fly, that fly in material as well. Got the waterproof material on there. Definitely worth it. If you uh, in the market to get you a good boot, I would highly recommend getting this. But in my spot, this is definitely the number nine shoe in the collection. The Nike ACG in the triple black colorway. Next would well, have to be, bam, the Nike Roshi Flyknit NM, natural motion as you can see. Definitely was a must cop in my collection. Like this is now an everyday shoe for me because like this shoe is just so comfortable. Except, especially after that break in period where you break in this mold right here on the bottom. Definitely was a must have. It was very light. And people have got this shoe confused thinking it's a Yeezy. <laughs> like for real, for real. I'm not lying about that. Uh definitely one of my go-to shoes, especially when I'm on a run and just trying to get out the house. I just slide these on and bam, I'm good. But definitely is a must cop shoe you need to have in your collection always have a roach in your collection because that's probably your best go-to shoe that you'll probably ever have the nike roshi fly net or nm in a triple black colorway number we had number eight wait number seven seven yes yeah, number seven bam 
the Nike Air Presto in the triple black colorway. Like y'all probably thinking, like I like it. Like black is just a go-to color. Like you can't go wrong with, with with a black shoe. But as you can see right here, I've worn the hell out of this shoe. Like this is probably one of my other favorite go-to shoes. Like this shoe is just that comfortable. I'm just being real with y'all. Like y'all could put y'all boots and everything to. Like boots is on a whole different level, but Presto is like the shit. Like price wise and comfort wise, like you are getting comfort, just as much good comfort out of these as you would get with a boost. But this shoe was definitely a must cop, especially in this colorway. Like I love triple, I love black colorways. Like I can't go wrong with that. But this shoe is definitely comfortable. The price is on point, and you could probably get these on sale now for whatever, about eighty dollars if you could find them. But you need to get you a pair of Nike Presto because this is just an overall comfortable shoe. Happy this shoe came out. Uh, like, it was ahead of its time for when it came out in uh, the early 2000s. So, if you can, get your hands on a pair of these. They got a variety of colorways now compared to when they first released. So, get you, get you some of these Nike Air Prestos. Triple black. Gotta take a sip, y'all. Games. All right, number what we at? Number six. Wait, hold up. One, two, three. No, one, two, three, four, six. Yeah, number six. All right, number six. Bam. The Jordan Westbrook Zero in a University Red colorway. Now. I know people are not going to give a lot of hate about this shoe, but this shoe is actually a beautiful crafted shoe. It gives off that Balenciaga feel. It gives off that designer luxury shoe feel. That is what they went for. They were not going for on-court uh, on court looks, man. This is something you wear casually. Like Brands are starting to go to the casual side, so it was only right for Jordan Brand to do the same thing, especially with Westbrook name attached to it because he's a very casual, casual guy. And as you can see here, like, I don't see no problem with this shoe. I love red shoes, especially all red shoes. You just can't go wrong with that. Got the all white bottom, just like a designer shoe would. The thick bottom sole. And got this croc like print on there. Definitely was worth every penny. And like I said, I got these under retail. I got paid like $60 for these. So I wasn't really losing much. Like I got a lot of bang for my buck on this. And this shoe is actually comfortable. You see, I add the gold lace tips on there. They give it even more of a nice little designer look. But yeah, it definitely was my go-to. One of my go-to uh, designer shoes. I've worn these dressy casually. Like it was just a, it's just a very, very beautiful shoe. And like I can't, I can't knock it. It is what it is. The Joe Westbrook Zero. Alright. Number five. No, actually what we at? Number four. Number five. Number five. Number five has to go to that. The Nike Kobe Mamba Curial. Uh now, nah, I'm gonna be real with y'all. I had to get this colorway because like my daughter's birthday is in October and I really wanted to get a pink shoe. And this shoe right here, I it all it only made sense to get it because Kobe's my favorite player. My daughter was born, he had a pink shoe and I had to get it. <laughs> like uh, breast cancer awareness month. So like I said, it was a no brainer that I go with these. And these are actually a comfortable shoe. Especially the, the tens were very comfortable. I'm gonna be real about that. Tens were comfortable. Uh, I have yet to get the elevens or the ads that came out, so I'll be getting them further down the line. But definitely was a must go to shoe, especially with the contrast in black and gray on here, with the all pink right here. The you probably could get these under retail now. I just had a time finding this particular colorway though. But yes, the Kobe, my Mercurial Elite. <laughs> Number three would have to go, no, wait, number four. Number four definitely had to go to the Nike Air More Up Tempo in the Bulls colorway. Scotty Pippen's unreleased uh, colorway shoe. Definitely, definitely a beautiful shoe in its own right. Uh, these sold out instantly online and also in store. Like, I had to catch these on a sporadic restock. So, was able to pick this i was actually able to pick this up uh before the initial release date but definitely a well put together shoe i love pippins like if you're a pippin fan 
you gotta love you have to love this shoe you have to get this and put this in your collection as well like there are a whole lot of the flight 89 these and the pippins one through five like you gotta get this you have to put this in the collection as one of the top pippins of all time but definitely definitely a, a great shoe and white and red you just can't lose you can't lose with that particular color the air joy more of Temple. i mean look the nike air more of Temple in the bulls colorway number three bam the jordan 31 in the bread colorway band dean band definitely a game changer and not only was it a game changer like i said they got the fly weave material going transitioning into leather letting you know from the new technology to the old technology they bought back the swoosh logo and they transitioned it over to the jordan logo and added the uh you, as you can see the fly wire right there very comfortable shoe very you could wear this casually i'm sorry this is the first jordan in a long time that you could wear casually like the older retros but uh was worth every penny of it. i had to have it on release day you probably could get these on discount now at all your own local retailers but for me this was a must cop especially for my collection and like i said i want it already definitely comfortable just as comfortable as the 28s were and that's probably my that is my favorite not og jordan jordan the, the jordan 28s but had to have this in the collection the air jordan 31 band number two that spot goes to a true og in the game bam the Nike Air More Temple in the black and white colorway. The Pippins. The classic Pippins. The 7210 Pippins. This shoe right here is just legendary. And this shoe had a crazy story behind it because every time they re they they release them, then they sell out. They release them, then they sell out. Then they had an official release date and they still and then they sold out again. Like this shoe was just popping up sporadically and every time they came out they just sold out instantly like that. That's just how epic and iconic this particular shoe is. This shoe, like you can't go go wrong with the big air going across. Like this is Georgia the Jungle <laughs> goodness right here. For those who actually know what I'm talking about. Whoop, about to drop it. But yes, I have worn this shoe. This is probably one of my favorite shoes to wear. Uh, out there like built like a tank for real man you just can't go wrong with this shoe and this especially in the all black colorway the nike air more of temple aka the pippins and last but not least last shoe last shoe number one whew, the adidas yeezy boost 350 v2 in the black and red colorway core black and red colorway had to get my hands on this i for, now for those who know i did get uh all three of the colorways the out of the the green the, and um the copper in this i let the coppers and the green go and my extra red i let that go because but i had to keep one of the reds i kept that because that was one of the ones that just caught my eye because there has never really been a yeezy that even incorporated red into its colorway so that's why i had to have this one because this is the only yeezy that actually have red in the shoe like actually red in the shoe and definitely was a must cop for me glad i have this in my collection but um like can't go wrong with the Yeezy, especially with that boost material. But that right there has been my top 10. Uh, thank y'all for vibing with me. I will be posting my uh, my next video coming soon, probably, probably tomorrow. But as always, stay true, stay fly, stay blessed. Like, comment, subscribe if you need to get in contact with me at any of my social media platforms. They are all right here in the description below. Uh, as always, man, I am JC Baby, and I'm out. You did.